I got the gig um, through, well, first it was for recording on High Life. Um, uh, Will Calhoun, who's on the record, uh, recommended me and, oh, and Marcus okay. Miller. Um, yeah, the, the way they said it, they told me that Wayne was in the studio because they already did all the, all the main tracks. And they said that Wayne was sort of listening back to the music and was kind of doing like, air guitar or something I like really, that, uh, without, without really going out and saying, hey, do you know any good guitar players? You know, he was just doing this. And then they saw him and they were like, Wayne, man, you are you hearing guitar on this? <laughs> you know, and and so, yeah, they they um, they, they thought about me and um, I sent a tape out cassette back then yeah. to, uh, to them. And uh, and then Wayne call, called me up. And he was like, hey, this is Wayne Shorter. <laughs> I was like, uh, exactly. What? <laughs> yeah. And he said, um, uh, "He said, it, you you don't take you, you waste no time getting to the point, do you?" Like I did, talking about like my music, you know, because yeah. I obviously sent him stuff that I wanted to impress him with, you know, and stuff. And so he said, "You don't waste you don't waste any time getting to the point," <laughs> which uh, I took as a compliment. And yeah. um, and then, uh, yeah, and then they flew me out there, and it was just me and Wayne. I, I would rehearse at his house. He oh, wow, man. He had new melodies written out for the some of the music uh, and guitar, you know, wrote guitar, wrote David on there. I was like, what? Oh, and, wow. And, um, yeah, and then we both went in the studio and did overdubs, and um, that was a challenging reading session because um, Marcus had me picking, uh, you know, because a lot of stuff – he was just coming up with, Marcus was just thinking, okay, let's, I want you to fill in this in. So he would take uh, a chord from the piano chart and have me play it. And obviously, you know, the piano parts are dense, you know, consecutive seconds, yeah. you know, cluster chords, you know, so that we can't play on guitar. So you have to find immediately like the, you know, the right notes, you know, the choice notes and stuff. So that was, that was a bit challenging, but I ended up taking a lot of that and playing it live later on, you know. Um, so if you, yeah, what was, what's the name? Um, not the Milky Way, is it the Milky Way Express? One of those, what, the chords are doubled like in the intro mm -hmm. with the, the piano. And so that was all done on, uh, in the studio, you know, wow. so that was even hard, you know, single notes is hard enough. <laughs> totally yeah, man, it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a lot of punching going on on, on like a few of those parts for sure. But, uh, uh, but yeah, so Will Calhoun and, and oh. Marcus recommended me for that gig and then, and then after, then later came the the tour. Yeah. And how how was it like touring with him? I mean, like playing. How was he as a, as a band leader? Oh, great! He's 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 a he, that guy's got more energy than 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 us. You know, and, and he would be up. You know, we would have some early, you know, departure calls on, and we'd be on the bus at four thirty, and he's talking about, you know, this movie that you know, have you guys ever seen this movie? He's always talking about because he's a big Hollywood movie buff and cartoon and stuff like that. And his mind is just going, 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 you know, tons of energy, yeah. <clears throat> you know, and, you know, just, just like always on. And, and I never saw him get um, angry or lose his temper or be dark or anything, you know, he just has a way of diffusing that, you know, yeah, um, but, it, you know, and it was not easy. The, the first tour was uh, fraught with a lot of, uh, uh, the problems with tra transportation. You know, we were on this uh, double decker British bus that apparently was was retrofitted with an engine that was too small for the bus. So we would be oh, up, uh, uh, you know, a hill at forty miles an hour, and they were using one driver when you know by law you're supposed to have two. After yeah. a certain point, you have to stop. So none of that was happening, and. Um, uh, I remember Tracy Wormworth was a bass player on that first tour, and she caught the the bus uh, bus driver dozing off, like like starting to fall asleep. Oh shit! Man. At that point, Wayne and uh, his, and Anna Maria was with was with us on on the tour, 
because they were all on the bus, Wayne and, you know, the whole band, you know, I mean, you know, Wayne was like in his early 60s, yep. then, you know, so they were like, forget this, we're going to fly to the rest of the gigs. You oh, know? Wow. So, so the band took the bus and, you know, they flew, you know, rightfully so, you know, they shouldn't have to do this. So um, they fired the manager after that tour. Uh, <laughs> I won't say who it was, but it, it, yeah, or Anna Maria fired him. And it's like, you know, this, this, you can't do this to, yeah, sure. you, you know, you know, and he was like, oh, we don't have the budget. We don't have the, but, you know, come on now, you know, you can't do this. So it was, it was a lot of craziness. Oh, wow. man. Um, but yeah, the opportunity to play with Wayne, you know, it was just ridiculous, man. And, and he's such a great guy. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, I felt like I, he, he, he kind of like a father figure in a way, you know, very warm and very humorous and just, you know, beautiful person inside and out, you know, very spiritual, yeah. you know, person, you know. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah.